But rather than just show George and Lewis standing there, these saints, there's a lot of energy, action. The whole thing crackles with excitement. And there's an extraordinary thing where the princess that George has saved from the dragon is riding the dragon in a kind of suggestive way. And he's painted, <laughs> and in fact, and this is not my observation, someone at the time said, you know, this is not seemly. It should not be in a painting where the princess rides a dragon like this. And uh, so, so you can see that these, I mean, this is an important thing to emphasize. At one time, this was contemporary art, right? This is not, it, was not, it wasn't an originally old master. And the art was challenging, threatening, uh, experimental, and that's a very important thing. What this exhibition is trying to do is really bring back some of that excitement when this was cutting edge, and like, wow, can you believe what Titian just did? Or look at Tintoretto, he's gone a little far this time, and that's, that's part of the bit. But it's not just far in terms of this kind of extraordinary composition, but really in terms of the way the paint is applied, and it's just amazing. Those of you in the back, make sure you come a little closer later on, but, but the look, it, great effects here. This Again, it's a bit like the woman in orange who was lifting up the uh, helping uh, Queen, uh, Queen Esther there. But there's very deftly painted little highlights on top to make, to make the folds of this beautiful pumpkin colored dress. Thick, quick brush strokes. Incredibly exciting. And you really feel like there's motion and there's force and determination in the brush strokes. And the whole thing kind of comes tumbling out at us, an amazing picture. And poor St. Uh, Alvise, uh, you know, St. Louis, he sort of pulls up his skirt in revulsion at this. I mean, it's a, it's, there's so much going on in this picture. I mean, it's a real challenge, first to these you know, poor bankers, and you know, this was a really new thing, um, but, but also uh, that he's challenging other, 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 other painters. Look at the beautiful effect of the foreshortened arm, her arm coming right out towards us. And then the real tour de force. If you've not seen this, notice up here is the princess is gazing at her own reflection in a mirror. And it's, it's a, I mean, I mean, Tintero is pushing all the buttons here. I mean, it's a, it's not, it was not a, it was not a well-paid commission particularly, but in a prestigious place, and he really wanted to make his mark. Enormous Tintoretto that's normally in the store room of the Academia in Venice, which is the greatest group of Tintorettos in the world. And I remember I was part of the curatorial team in uh, 2007 at the very big exhibition of Tintoretto in the Prado Museum in Madrid. That was the first real Tintoretto exhibition in 70 years. And the curator of the Prado went to ask the academic if he could borrow this uh, painting. And the superintendent of fine arts in Venice, she said, oh, it's a great painting. It deserves to be better known, but it's in bad condition. It's too fragile. needs a restoration. We don't have any money. I found that thought away. And two years later, when I went to work on this exhibition, you know, because one of the things I want to do is not just have the same paintings that we've all seen before. Even something you know in Hartford I had to put it on a ceiling, do something new. But also, you want to bring some things into circulation that are almost unknown. And this is one of them. You know, it's black and white photographs and books, but that's about it. And um, I went back and I said, I'd really like to borrow this painting because we've got, we're going to set up a whole room like a 16th century Venetian church, compare these various altar pieces. And she said, well, it's not, it's too fragile, it needs a restoration if we don't have any money. And I said, what happens if I can raise the money? She said, that would be great. <laughs>